Oi gente, tudo bem com vocês? Então, hoje estou aqui com o Alfie. Alfredo. 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 And today, we're gonna react to some British stereotypes. Yeah, we're gonna debunk some myths. Yeah. We got Guanana. Guanana. Muito brasileiro. It's not a sponsor video. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yet. Um, yeah, so while drinking some Guanana, uh, we're gonna debunk some Brazilian myths that you guys have sent us on Instagram, and uh, we're gonna tell you if they're true or not true. Yeah. We've we've looked at some of them, and we're already a bit like, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, now we're gonna give you the truth about British people because I feel like there is a big stereotype on British people that is completely wrong. Yeah, we're known internationally for quite a few things. Um, which are not necessarily true. And we're gonna start right here. We're gonna tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right, the first one we have says, Brazilians think that British people are cold and sad because of the weather. She says, now acredito. She doesn't believe, which is very kind of her. What do you think, Alfie? Are we miserable and sad because of the weather? Uh, yeah. <laughs> British, no, a very British thing is to complain about the weather all the time, but but the weather here is absolutely awful, so if you lived here you would understand. <laughs> yeah, I think what you've got to understand guys is that when you are promised a summer of sunshine, <laughs> heat waves, literally, it doesn't happen. I would say our summer this year lasted literally a week. There was a week where it was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah, 25 yeah. plus. But even for them in Brazil, 25 isn't even that good. So. Isn't that hot? But yeah, we had about a week of summer. When, you know, it's supposed to be three months. So that kind of pisses us off a little bit, you know? It yeah, of, so... It annoys us a little we bit. We do get moody about the weather. <laughs> so to answer that question, yes, we do get moody about Muito verdade. <laughs> <laughs> Next assumption. Gabrielle says they are very polite because they say sorry all the time. Sorry. Sorry. No, sorry. sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, sorry. Yeah. sorry. It's, it's true. <laughs> I would say it's true actually, yeah. It's like if you like accidentally bump into someone, the first thing you say is sorry. It's true, right? And here's the funny thing is, if I bump into someone, they'll say sorry to me. I'll be, yeah, no, yeah, sorry, yeah. no, so sorry, sorry. Like, we get confused. We just say sorry. If I step on someone's toe, they might go, oh, sorry. And I go, no, sorry, it was me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, if it's there, if it's your fault, you'll still like... I'll still say sorry. Or if, no, if it's their fault. <laughs> If it's their fault, you'll still say sorry, but then they'll say sorry again. Like, we do say sorry a lot. It's just our way to say, yeah, okay, cool, bye. <laughs> yeah, we just neutralize every situation yeah, by yeah. saying sorry. <laughs> but overall, I wouldn't say we're, like, polite. No, nah, we're wrong. Like, it's quite ironic because we have this thing, like, I've heard people say British people swear a lot, and we're quite rude. So, on the other hand, are we polite or are we rude? Are we, you know, are we snobbish and rude yeah, yeah, and we yeah. swear a lot, or are we polite because we say sorry all the time? Personally, I wouldn't say British people are the politest, but... Nah, I think we're quite... I think but we're like, quite... for like us, like swearing and stuff, it's not like rude, if you get what I mean, like it's... Nah. It's like normal. We will call you like a stupid twat. But it's, a, it's like, it's sarcastic. Yeah. It's not, I don't actually mean it. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's like an, a term of endearment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. twat, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you come to England, you'll hear that a lot, so... <laughs> twat. Basically, it says, you all... Drink tea at five o'clock. No. <laughs> I do not know where you guys have got that from, but that is completely not true. I, I don't really understand this thing about tea at five o'clock. I, I don't know where it comes from. Why Why is tea even like a big British stereotype? Like, why? I mean, like... <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> I'll be honest, Alvi, we do drink a lot of tea. Yeah, okay. Right, um, we do, but, but it's not specifically at five o'clock, okay? So if you really want to know my my tea routine. <laughs> I wake up in the morning, about, depends, you know, eight o'clock tea, and about 10 o'clock I have another tea. And maybe after lunch I'll have a tea. That's free already. But then in the evening I might have a tea at seven o'clock. But by no means do I go, yeah, oh guys, what's this, the time? Oh my God, 5 p.m. Go have a tea. Botanical baby g mice. Every British no fun Portuguese. <laughs> Now in danger. <laughs> now in danger. <laughs> right, every British drinks a lot. I don't know if this is true. No, I, 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 I don't think. No, we don't drink. We don't drink. We just drink water, you know. Probably yes. <laughs> yeah. <we do>. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big, big party culture in the UK. Um, not only that. We get miserable about the weather, and what do we do to counteract that? We go drink. out on the weekend and drink a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, we do have a bit of a, a binge drinking problem in the UK. People. Problem? 
<laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> I would just have to say, Madachi. Muito <laughs> Madachi. I like this one, this is good. British people, we respect the queue. <laughs> what do you think about this? No. <laughs> Right. Well, I don't know because I don't. I personally, I don't like to queue. <laughs> <laughs> but you will. Yeah, but I will. I think what it is like in other countries, they don't really queue. They'll see a queue and just not go. No, they just they just they, they don't really form a queue so much. They kind of oh, right, like, yeah. They they just go. I mean, there are like an instance where like you form a queue, like, but like. British people, we, we, we all just make a queue anywhere. We go like... <laughs> okay, we like queues, guys. Like if, you're waiting, if, if, if you're waiting for a shop to open, like maybe in another country, people just like hang about, they just wait. Or like oh, if they're yeah. on a bus stop, for example, they just hang around. But British people, if there's a lot of people on a bus stop, what will happen is you'll slowly start to see a That is actually queue. true, I didn't think yeah. about that. When you walk up to a bus stop, what do you think? Like, oh, is there a queue? Like, where's the queue? Yeah. I need to get in the queue. Okay, so whenever there's like a lot of people waiting sign, we will queue. We love a queue. Yeah. I just thought queuing for a bus is actually quite, like, weird. I know, right? Yeah. Here's the thing, it's like, we respect the queue, so what uh, happens yeah. is, it's like, if, if, if you, you push in, yeah, <laughs> so. you push in, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, you, you're, you're gonna be, you're gonna find, you're gonna find a rude British person. Yeah, you're yeah, gonna yeah. Call a daft. Yeah. Twat. If you come to England, see a queue, go to the back, do not push in. Respect the queue. <laughs> yeah. British people are often seen as reserved and unemotional. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, okay. we're, we're, we're quite cold. We don't have emotions. I, I sort of understand this in a way. I mean, let's compare ourselves to like Brazilians, right? You see, yeah. like, Brazilians, they get very emotional. They like to cry. Oh, oh. Like to cry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's emotions, <laughs> man. It's emotions. I, I would say football, for example, but football is it's different because we love football as well. And we yeah. do cry for football. That's the only thing we cry for. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think British people, are, it's, we have this culture of like, to be strong, reserved, don't yeah, show yeah. emotion. Crying is seen as like weak. Yes, exactly. Yeah, crying is seen as weak in, in our culture. Um, but I don't really like that though. To be honest, no. I think it's something that it's been brought to in, into like the mainstream media. It's been talked about a lot about men showing emotions, and it's something yeah. that we're working on in this country. It's perfectly fine to cry. Like it's perfectly yeah, fine yeah. to show emotion, but it has been a long kind of stigma that men don't cry. Which, um, you can cry. Just it's perfectly fine to cry, yeah. guys. Do you take a shower? No. No. I had another shower in about four years, I'd say. <laughs> four years? <laughs> no, I did have one about two weeks ago because I had a job. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, sarcasm. <laughs> sarcasm. That is British sarcasm, yeah. We do take a shower. Like I take a shower every, every day. day yeah. um, I like to be hygienic. I like to smell good, guys. I would say normal is to have at least one shower a day. Yeah, I would yeah. say that's normal. And I know that, like... Yeah, Brazilians say they take like three showers a day. We don't. We don't. Fair play to you guys. So. <laughs> but you say it, it's because Brazil, like most of Brazil is hot. So Super you're going to have more here. showers. When it's humid here, like I literally, I do take like three showers. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Everything I do, I get hot and sweaty and I'm like, I need to take a shower. But guys, British people do shower. Okay? <laughs> For example, guys, like it, it's still supposed to be summer right now. And look at the temperature. 17 Celsius, summer. We're not sweating. <laughs> Does everyone love the Queen and the royal family, or is it just the older generation? What do you think? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think everyone loves the royal family. I think there's certainly people that do like the whole tradition of having a royal family. They're so like, you know, a big part of England and it's hard not to sort of have an opinion on them because they're like in the news all the time. So yeah, it's yeah. kind of like, do I like the royal family? They're I'm sure they're lovely people. I'm sure they, they do a lot of charity work and stuff. You know, they're, they're constantly trying to make the, the country a better place. So they're good people. Um, am I a fan? Like a fan fan? Not really. I don't know. I respect them. Yeah. We respect them. We, everyone in England respects yeah. them. They're but just, we don't like... They're very unrelatable. Fanboy no, over them. <laughs> they're very unrelatable. It's yeah, like, yeah. how do you relate to the royal family? Like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. They're just, it's such a unique position. They're very unrelatable, but I guess we respect them. They speak very badly about the weather in England. I think we've already done that. We, Muy uh, we, if you've watched the last 10 minutes of this video. <laughs> Muy <then. dumb> <laughs> <dash>. <laughs> Skip. Are Brits grumpy? I think we may be perceived as a little bit grumpy because we're kind of a little it, bit reserved. Yeah, we, we can be, but I don't 
early now. We're quite in reserve, and I think like if if it takes us a while to open up and yeah, yeah, become yeah. like our usual selves. If you're like kind of new to us, it would like just take a while to adapt. Yeah, so it's, you can just use our like restaurant video for example. Like yes. we were like really like hello, a little bit timid and reserved. Yeah, and then, <laughs> now we're like yeah. completely different. Yeah. So. Um, it just takes a while to unleash your inner self, I guess you yes, could say. Yes, yes, yes. But it just takes us a while to warm up to people, but give us a chance, give us a little bit of time, <laughs> and we will be very nice. When you get to know us, we're very kind, I would say. Yeah, very well. It's just the part getting to know us can be hard. Yeah. Just be patient with us. <laughs> British people don't use umbrellas. <laughs> <laughs> I always say this is actually kind of true. I can't remember the last time I used an umbrella, to yeah. be honest. But I would, I, there is people who do use umbrellas, yeah. but I would say like older people. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I think like for me, it's, because the weather here is like so unpredictable. So for the most part, it's probably that I left the house when it was sunny and then 20 minutes later it started raining and I don't have an umbrella because I didn't expect yeah, yeah. it to rain. We're, just, we're used to the rain. <laughs> and it kind of works on the other way around. It's like when you leave the house and it's raining a little bit, it's like, do I need to bring an umbrella? It's probably going to stop raining yeah, soon, yeah, yeah. so I'm not going to bother to bring an umbrella. The only time I'll use an umbrella is like the rain is really heavy and I think, yeah, this is going to be all day rain. But typically the, the, the weather in England, it just changes a lot. So it's just kind of like, do you know what? I can't be bothered to bring an umbrella today. Yeah. Typically, not really, unless the weather is absolutely terrible. Yeah, cause, yeah. But like, as you said, the British weather can literally go from like 20 degrees sunny to raining thunderstorm in like five minutes. It's so true, it's true, yeah. So it's you, like, can't, you don't know when to bring an umbrella. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, so you just by default. Just mm. Because it's annoying carrying around an umbrella yeah, when it's yeah, sunny. Yeah. Everyone's like, you're going to be, a, you may, may perceive that we don't really use umbrellas. So muy tu educados, which I believe means like very polite. Educados. Yeah, I don't know what to say to that one. <laughs> Let's just say maybe. So that is it, guys. That is, uh, I think that was 12 stereotypes. Uh, that was pretty good. We've also addressed some more over on Alfredo's channel. So go and check that out if you do really want to know about more stereotypes of British people. So, ciao. Ciao. <laughs>